Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Susan here today and I'm coming at you with a requested video. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do this uh, really quick because I found I had a few extra minutes here. So I thought, let me go ahead and do the video. And this video today is a requested video. And excuse me, I'm just gonna pull it up. And it was requested by um, Pimp, Pimpig and Blur Mouse. I'm so sorry, I probably completely butchered it. It's P-I-M-P-G and then E-R-B-I-L-M-O-U-S-E, -E, Pimp Pig Blur Mouse. So um, anyway, she requested that I did a comparison. Um, she watched my one wallet tag that I did recently and of course if you've seen that video you know that I've picked as my one wallet tag is my um, Zippy Compact wallet in the monogram and she said if you have a Zippy coin purse can you do a comparison? So I do happen to have a Zippy coin purse and it is in the monogram print as well so I am here today to do the comparison for you so I hope you enjoy this, so let me get right into it. Let me start by showing you my Zippy Compact wallet. And as we know, this was my number one wallet in my um, one wallet tag. This is my favorite wallet. And um, I will just start by just kind of showing you the details. It is the um, monogram canvas. And it is the um, compact size. This also comes in the full size organizer wallet, which I did have but I sold it for this one because this one um, holds just about as much as the other one did and this size is better for me because I can fit it into all my bags. The other one just, it fit, but it took up too much room. And it is a zip around, as you can see where the zipper system on this wallet is absolutely fantastic. And it's got a big chunky brass Louis Vuitton zipper pull there. So I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what I have in it. And um, just kind of give you kind of a mini review on it, if you will. Um, sort of, again, just show you what's in it, what can fit in it, different ways you can use this wallet. And then I will try to take some of the things out of here and, in, and arrange it into the coin purse so you can see the difference. So um, this is the inside of my wallet. And as you can see, it is one where you open it. It opens up like a book. And the difference with the Zippy coin is when you open it and the full size Zippy, which I sold because I didn't like this as much when you open it, it opens like an accordion style where it has the gathers on the side so it limits you so it doesn't open full out like the other one. So when you open this wallet out, you can look straight forth and you can see you have one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten credit card slots, and I currently have six cards in here, so I'm using up six of the ten slots, leaving two empty on the top, and then it has this little handy slot down here, and I like to slip my ID in there because it's easy to pull in and out, and it fits in there really, really easy, and you can put whatever uh, you want to pull in and out. You can put your debit card in there, or an insurance card or whatever, but for me, my ID works the best in there. So that's how I have my cards arranged in this wallet. And then right behind here, I have a compartment and I have a receipt in there currently. And I do keep receipts in there usually. And then behind here, I have another compartment. And in there, I just have a little card from Clark's when I bought my little baby shoes you, um, recently, every time you buy them, it's your little kind of stamp card, so they stamp it each time and you get a dollar amount off. So I keep that back there. <coughs> and I could put business cards in there as well, or more cards, or what have you back there. Then there's another compartment behind these um, card slots here. And back there, I currently just have a... Um, a receipt from Clark's, and these are the shoes that I purchased that day, and it's in a little card receipt thing, and um, I found that it fit really nice back there, so I just slipped it back there, but again, you can put more receipts back there, or whatever you may want to put extra, um, fits very nicely in there, and then behind here, you have a coin compartment here as well, and in there, I have a few coins, 
And I usually, oops, don't keep coins in here, but I did put them in here just for this video. So as you can see, I have some coins. So those sit in there, and that is the coin compartment. So, close that back up, and it just sips with the little Louis Vuitton zip there. And then right behind there is another compartment, another handy compartment. And I just have some credit cards there, extra cards as well. Um, if you are in the store or whatever and you don't have time to slip them in and out of the slot, you can just tuck them back there. That's what I find that I do and it works really great for me. Or um, you can put, again, whatever you would like back there. And then here, up here, which is wonderful about this wallet, is you have a um, bill, a money compartment, um, your you know, currency. And I tried, I looked everywhere and I could, I don't have any currency in the house currently. I spent it all, excuse, excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. So um, I just put this in here and we're gonna pretend like this is money. So you can put your paper money in here, which is where I always keep mine. And it goes in there very, very nicely. And it fits perfect in there and it's really deep. So um, anyways, that's how I currently pack this zippy compact wallet and I will just zip it up for you again so you could see that it's pretty packed I mean there's a lot of stuff in there and it's not bulging in any way it's not distorted the zipper looks really beautiful and I used um, I have my husband's iPhone 6 he let me borrow I currently have the I I mean 6 plus I'm sorry I currently have the iPhone 6 and it fits in here and will zip up if I want to use this as like a clutch to run out but I just wanted to show the 6 Plus um, for anyone who has the 6 Plus because that is a bigger phone. That um, this wallet is just about the size of a 6 Plus and just maybe a, just a half inch bigger. But look at that, guys. That's a 6 Plus in here. Zipped up snugly. The zipper is completely straight. It's not stressing or anything. So... That would be everything I need for the day, minus my keys, of course, but that's all in the wallet. Okay, so let me kind of take some of these things out and show you the Zippy Coin. Um, the Zippy Coin is a, what the monogram canvas as well, the same zipper um, type closure with the zipper brass pull on the side, and it is, of course, a little less substantial than on the bigger wallet. And the zipper on this wallet is, is just fantastic. So is that one, but this one just really zips up really nicely. But as you can see, it's accordion style. And when I open it, it's got four slots, two there for credit cards. I'm sorry, there we go. One, two there. And then on the other side, one, two there as well. And then you've got the compartment here. That's an open compartment. A compartment here that's an open compartment and then you have a little slot there a little slot there and then um, a little tiny baby slot there which um, you probably could put coins in I'm assuming because it is called the zippy coin purse so let me just take out a few cards stick them in here Try not to take up too much time here. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to take out some of these cards for you guys and stick them in here and try to fill this up to its max. And the thing about this one is because of the way the card slots are, as you can see, they're sideways, so you can't look at them full on. You have to like hold the wallet like this and pull to get them, and then you have to stick your hand in here and pull them out this way. So it's not quite as um, convenient as just pulling them straight out of there. So um, Let's use my pretend money and fold it up and stick that in there. Turn like that's our money. So I usually would stick my money like right here. 
And then these are some extra cards. So I'm gonna stick those down in there. And as you can see, my extra cards, they kinda, of, they don't, when you try to just slip them in, they'll have to fit on either side, whoops. They would have to fit on either side. Oops, I put them in the wrong thing. Sorry, they would have to fit on either side of the accordion type deal here. And they slide, I have them back here, and they it's kind of not so easy. And um, this is already getting a little fat feeling, and I don't have nearly as much as I had. Um, let me take the coins out. And put them, I will put them here in the middle. And see now that I have cards in here, this is a not as easy to open, but I will throw the coins there in the middle. And there is no zipper or anything, so your coins can come out when that is upside down. And what else do I have in here that I could take out? So, okay. So let me show you guys how this looks. Okay, this is full. I've got two cards here, two cards there. So the four card compartments are completely filled up. I have two extra cards in the open. Uh, these have those open compartments. I have two extra cards laying in there and behind this kind of accordion divider thing here on one side. I have my coins. <laughs> and see what I mean about the coins? It is a coin purse, so um, I'm assuming you should be able to keep coins in there, but there's no secure place to really keep the coins, so you have to be careful like that or they will fall out. But I have my coins there. Let me just keep it closed. And then this is um, taking place of like bills. So if I would have money in here, there's no open compartment for your money to hold comfortably so you'd have to fold it up little and like stick it in the compartment there and then there's my other cards there and then you do have little compartments back here and you could get um let's see I took our seat let's see if I have one here okay we could use this this is my receipt and you could stuff a receipt back here so um, this is this wallet full, and as you can see, it is, it's fat, and I'm zippering it. So it closes nicely, it's not overstressed. But um, almost everything from here is in here, except I still have one, two, three cards still in here. Um, I have my big uh, Clark's receipt envelope I showed you still in here, and I have my Clark's um, punch card in there, and then I still have a receipt in here. So other than that, everything is out of this wallet and in this wallet. So once again, I'm just showing you, I have four cards in the slots, one card here, extra. I'm sorry, two cards there, extra. A receipt back here in that compartment. This is the coin compartment in the middle, and I have coins in there. And um, they don't, you just have to be very careful that they don't fall out. And then I have nothing in that back compartment. So this is a very small little mini compact compartment. It fits a lot in it for its size, but the only downfall with it is it's accordion style, so you have to look down into it. You can't open it up wide. And everything is kind of a tight fit to pull things in and out of it. It's not really easy, easy to get to. I mean, it's okay, but it's not as easy as the other one. And it's not going to fit your cell phone, and you're not going to fit as much stuff as you can. But obviously, this is a much smaller wallet, and this is not meant for a full-size wallet. So for the size that it is, it is a really, it does hold a lot, and you can fit this into your, like, maybe your walks or little tiny crossbodies or smaller purses. But of course, this is my favorite. As you can see, it's not much um, bigger than this one, you know, and this one fits in all my purses, and I can fit my iPhone 6 Plus even in here. So 
this wallet I highly recommend. So I hope that this comparison of the two was really helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.